Ever wondered if you could create your own website? Yes, you can, and it's easier than you think. In this video, I'm going to start from nothing, then create a complete website from scratch in less than 10 minutes. And it's going to be super easy to do. So after watching this video, you will be able to make any kind of website just like this by using drag and drop. So don't miss out on this video and watch it till the end to learn how to do it. So let's get started. Let me start the 10 minute timer now and we are off. To create your website, we are going to do five steps. The first step is to get your domain and hosting. A domain is the name of the website like youtube.com or facebook.com. And hosting is where all your website's files are stored. It can be your images, videos, and also the content. To get your domain and hosting, just click the link below this video and it will take you to webspacekit.com. Here, enter the name you want for your website and click check. Now it will show you the availability of the domain name. And as you can see, this domain is already registered by someone. Now, if you need help coming up with domain name ideas, you can click the link below this video. And it'll take you to this AI writing tool, which helps you come up with content ideas easily. So just enter your business details and click create content. And it'll give you creative names that you can use for your website. Next, we can quickly see which of these names are available. So let's copy the names. And then paste it on Webspace Kit Domain Checker and click check. Now it will show you the availability of all the domain names. Go through the available domain names and select the one you like. And here select how long you want the hosting for. Then click Add to Cart, fill in your details, enter your payment details and complete the payment. As you can see, our order has been placed. Now if we click here, you can see that we have successfully purchased the domain and hosting. Now your website should be live on the internet. So let's open a new tab and type in the domain name. You can see that we have got a brand new website. As you can see, this is the default design of our website. Now to start building the site, let's go to step two, which is to log into your site. So to log in, just type slash login after your site's address and it will take you to the login page of your website. Enter the login details. When your site was activated, you would have received an email with your login details. So just open your email and you can see we have got a username and password here. So let's quickly copy these, then paste them here and click login. So now we are successfully logged into our WordPress website. And this is the WordPress dashboard from where you can control your entire website. Once you have logged into your site, let's go to the third step, which is to install a theme. A theme is simply the design of your website. And there are many themes available on WordPress. We're going to use a theme called Astra because it has multiple pre-built designs, which are super easy to use. So to install the theme, just click the link below this video and it will be downloaded to your computer. Now to upload this theme to our website, let's go back to our dashboard, go to appearance, click themes. Now click add new, click upload theme. Then drag and drop the theme file here. Click install now and click activate. So now we have successfully installed the theme. Once you have installed the theme, let's move to the fourth step, which is to import a sample website. Now instead of building the entire website from scratch, we're going to import a sample website and then customize it. As we've seen, Astra offers a lot of ready-made website designs. So simply click install starter templates. Here select the page builder that you want to use. We recommend that you select Elementor as it makes it easy to edit your website's pages in the future. Now you'll find a list of ready-made website templates. You can have a look at them and choose the one you like. I'm going to go with this one. As you can see, we have some customization options, but let's skip it for now. Then click continue. Click submit to import this website. As you can see, our sample website is getting ready and it's done. So let's click view website. And you can see that we've got the entire website along with the sample content. Next, let's go to step five, which is to customize the website. So to customize any page on your site, you just have to go into that page and click edit with Elementor. So let's say you want to edit the home page. Just simply click home, then click edit with Elementor. And you will go into this editing section. Let's say you want to change the text here. 
Just select the text and start typing what you want. Now if you need any help in writing your website content, we have a tool in Gravity Write that can generate an entire homepage content with just a single click. So let's try it out. Just go to Gravity Write. Here you can see the homepage copy tool. So just click create content. And as you can see, it has generated the content for the entire homepage with proper headings and also the content looks pretty great. So let's add it to our website. So let's copy the title. Go back to our site and paste it here. In the same way, you can change all the text on the website. So let's say you want to change the background image. Simply click here, go to the style tab, click on choose image, then drag and drop your image. And as you can see, the background image has been changed. In the same way, you can change any image on your website. And once you're done with the changes, click update. Now if we go to our website and click refresh, you can see that all the changes have been applied. Now let's say you want to create a new page. How will you do that? So next, let's see how you can create a new page on your website. To do that, go to new and click page. Here give a title for your page and click edit with Elementor. Now it will take you to a blank section. Now you have two options to create your page. First, you can use these elements which are over here. If you want to add an image, you can drag and drop this element and add your image. To add a heading, drag and drop this element and here enter your text. In the same way, you can build any page on your site using this element. Now, another way to create a page is using ready-made templates. So to do that, let's click here and you will find a lot of designs to choose from. You can just click here and search for the template you want. I'm going to select this one. So to get this design, just click insert. And as you can see, we've got the entire design on our page. Now again, like we did before, you can change anything on this page. Simply select the text and type what you want. Now to get the content for this page, let's go to Gravity Write. And here you'll find this option to create content for our about us page. Just click on create content. And your content for the about page will be generated. Now you can copy this content and create your about page. So this is how you can create a new page on your website. In the same way, you can create all the other pages for your website. Once you've created all the pages, you can see that our new page is not visible in the menu yet. So next, let's add the new page to our menu. To do that, click customize, then go to menus and click on the main menu. Here you can see the menu items on our website. Now to add a new page to the menu, click add items and here you will find the about us page that we created. Just click on it and it will be added to the menu. You can also rearrange the menu items by dragging and dropping them like this. Once you're done, click publish. Now if we go to our website and click refresh, you can see that our new page has been added to the menu. Okay, now if you see here, we have the default logo on our site. To change it and add your own logo, go to customize, click on the pencil icon, now click on the image, then drag and drop your logo. Now if you don't have a logo, you can make one using tools like Canva. In Gravity Write, we have a tool that can generate amazing logo ideas that are personalized for your business. So let's go to Gravity Write and search for logo design ideas. Here fill in these details about your business and click create content. And you can see that we've got different logo ideas for our website. Once we have the ideas, next let's see how we can generate our logo. We're going to use a tool called Ideogram. This tool can create stunning logos and images completely for free. To use this tool, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this page. Here you need to paste the logo idea that we got from Gravity Write. So let's go there, copy the idea, paste it here and click generate. Now this tool will give you four different logo designs. Select the one you like and download it. If your logo has a background, 
you can easily remove it using a tool called remove bg so let's go there upload the logo and the background will be removed let's download the logo then go back to our website upload it here and click publish now if we go to our website and click refresh you can see that our logo has been changed on our website okay we have successfully customized our entire website and it's ready there you go guys we have done it on time so this is how you can create an entire website in just 10 minutes now if you want to learn how to create a e-commerce website then you can watch this video i hope you guys found this video helpful do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to website learners for more videos like this one thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until then take care bye bye